Hey everybody, it's Roger from Roger's Reviews and uh, recently I've been bargain shopping and I've been hitting Goodwill and garage sales because I've had a little extra time and so <coughs> I was uh, going home yesterday and there was a garage sale right in between uh, the shop and my um, house, condo, so I decided to stop and purchase some things from a garage sale. So. I uh, have a thing for with wallets and purses and hats and stuff like that and just weird, um, I don't know, intricate leather cases and stuff. So I ended up picking up this little leather wallet, which has uh, a place for, of course, your cash, all your credit cards, and a couple spots, all black. Everything works well. It's pretty clean. There's no problems with that. I bought another one. Uh, this is like a little zipper uh, wallet. Same thing. It, it's like a wallet but it zips open. Um, there's a place for credit cards, a couple places to tuck things. Just like a regular wallet but it basically zips up and then also has a little zipper here which that does have a broken handle. It's supposed to have a zipper here but I figure I could add something to that. You can still use it. It's kind of hard to grab so I'll probably put even a zip tie or anything really to make that work so that's your change right there so that's kind of a unique little uh, wallet and then I have a little velcro uh, wallet this is would be good for like um, maybe your checkbook and maybe some cash or something like that or extra checks so I can keep my checkbook in there um, there's another leather wallet. Uh, I guess if I went over this one already, yeah, this is the one that folds out, has all your credit cards, and it has another zipper inside. Um, I guess this is similar to the other one. You can unzip this. It's large enough for bills. Maybe you keep your big bills in here or your change. Um, and then you also have two spots. Maybe you have the bigger bills, smaller bills change in the middle place for one two three four five six seven eight credit cards ID and also two more flaps for cash or checks or whatever and then it even flips over the other side to another pocket so it has lots of pockets so that's that's leather too and that's has a name on it a spirit uh, this one was Kenneth Cole and then last but not least Actually, there's two in here. I stuck them together. There's another leather checkbook case um, or wallet. Um, has a place here you could put your, I guess, money. There's a, two pockets inside, and there's one, two, three, four uh, places to put credit cards. And to me, it looks more like a place to put your checkbook there. Uh, so that's also leather. There's no name on that. So, wait a minute. Fossil. I'm sorry. Fossil. So that's the name brand as well. And last but not least, we have this big leather purse type wallet. And it comes with a separate checkbook leather case. So you can put your checkbook in there, your extra checks, and there's a basically another spot for your pen and a little pocket there. So this is very similar to the checkbooks you get at the bank. Of course, they're not leather. No name on this, as I can tell, <coughs> but I think these two go together. And this one has a zipper on the outside for change. Very nice. And also on the bottom, I didn't even realize this at first, it's a coach, made by coach. So I know this coach is a little more expensive, made a little better than most of the products I've seen. So um, what do you think I should have paid for um, all these? And pretty sure these go together. I don't know why this doesn't say coach. I don't know if they don't stamp coach on everything, but uh, the leather matches and it fits right inside here. So, um, everything added up to, I 
think it was 21 or 22 dollars so I offered them 15 bucks and they took it so I think this coach leather uh, purse pouch whatever you want to call it is worth way over 15 bucks by itself so anyway if you guys know what this is worth or you think it's a good deal or bad deal let me know uh, again I'm just uh, I just like wallets and uh, little leather pouches and stuff like that so next time you go to garage sale uh, you might want to check the name and stuff on here uh, I'm not really a connoisseur of going to these all these sales but it's kind of interesting and it's cool to find something under 20 bucks so anyway this is roger with rogers reviews on my new new pastime so if you like this video crush the like button and if you guys know what these are worth let me know leave a comment in the description have a great day